Hi guys and gals, Uni here. Today I'm going to show you routes and tips for Kelp Dome Ren Maker. Okay, first, if you use short to mid-range weapon, go directly to Rainmaker and pop it. There are two routes at this stage, either going through the middle walkways or this way. I usually use this route, not the middle walkways. You can then use Rainmaker Shot from here to enemy base anticipating spots in which they are hiding. And boom, dunk it in. There is another route here, but this is almost the worst route. It is harder to get to their side, and there is not much difference in how many counts progress. Once you get their Rainmaker at this point, instead of going there, use either of these two routes. Then you can bring back Rainmaker to the opposite side of where you picked it up. I'm going to show you an example in an actual game. As you can see, we have three down and the enemy carried Rainmaker onto the metal walkway. As I mentioned earlier, I don't recommend using this route because, as you can see, here it is so easy to catch up to them from our respawn. Like this. I got Rainmaker and then I go to their side from this ramp. And this splatter shot did a perfect job to lead Rainmaker. And dunk it in! Again, the splatter shot did a fantastic escort. It tells me that we should keep an eye on Rainmaker rather than just going too far to splat enemies. Now I'm going to show you the metal walkway route. I have 2.9 run speed gear with me. Boom, dunk it in. It seems easier and faster, but as you can see from the last game, it won't be easy in a real battle. If an enemy has a long range weapon, you usually die here. Okay, here we go! Pop Rainmaker and grab it right away. Nice Octo following me. This is a good teammate. I died here by such a bomb at a count of 19. Not bad. I shouldn't have used the super jump here. Oopsie. Okay, here, enemy rainmaker made a bad choice. You see that his that he's on the metal walkway. He can be taken down easily there. 
but because the distance between his walkway and our walkway is very close, but not good enough to cross. See, you like this. And here's one tip. Painting these blocks makes it easier to fight on the walkway. Okay, let's go back to the game. Okay, here as you can see, my other teammates are down, so I should be hiding at a safer place until they show up for the battle. Now my teammate is super jumping to me, but it is kind of obvious place for an enemy to see. I have to protect him, so I try to get the enemy's attention here so my teammate can land there safely, but he was flooded down. Tear, tear. And here I see Curling Bomb coming in, and it should be a roller. And I thought I can't get him in this situation, so I left this area instead of trying to get him. And now I see they have the Rainmaker. As I explained earlier, there are two routes that you can take Rainmaker to get to the other side. So I headed to that point to build a defense position quickly. There you go, Rainmaker shows up as I expected. Okay, that's it for Kelp Dome Rainmaker routes and tips. Hope this video helps you. Subscribe and comment below. Thank you, bye-bye.